Hey guys, I'm Dave from GameFruit and today I'm going to show you how to make your own animated character in GameFruit. Uh, this is assuming you've already drawn all the artwork that is necessary for the character. So um, I'm going to base mine off this girl character that I drew a little while ago. Um, you need to have all of the frames for the different states that you want your character to have. So, um, you want to have idle, you want to have walking or running, you want to have crouching or lying down, um, jumping, falling, and dying. That's kind of like the bare minimum that you want to have. So these are the frames that I have drawn, and now I'm going to show you how to get them into Game Fruit. So back in Game Fruit, um, I'm just going to do this in... <coughs> one of the templates that we've made. Uh, I'll just wait for this to load up. Um, now, once uh, once that's loaded in, we're gonna uh, create a new asset pack and we're gonna upload all of those images in. So we'll just wait for that to load. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to replace this guy here. Now I need to, first things first, I need to make a new asset pack. That's where m my images are going to live, or my animations going to live. So I want to click, um, I want to click assets up in the top right corner, and I want to then uh, or as you can see here are all my packs, there's a ton of them, you probably won't have this many. Um, you want to go new pack, and you want to give it a name, I'm going to call this my character. And then the pack will be down the very bottom. You want to tick it so that the pack will, uh, the assets in the pack will be in use in your game. Now this pack is empty. Um, I need to add new asset and select characters and from animation editor. And then the animation editor will open up. This is where you can arrange all of the images um, that you want to use in a particular animation. So like I said, a character needs to have idle, walking, jumping, dying, ducking, prone. Uh, jump up and down. Jump up is like when the character is jumping and jump down is actually falling. Um, now, as you can see, this whole space is pretty empty because there's nothing in there yet. So I'm going to go add new over in here in the sprite library. And I am going to add files. And I'm going to browse to where my images are saved. There they are. I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to click open. And now the uploading process should begin done and there all of your images should now be in the sprite library but they're not part of the animation yet so each of these tabs up here are the different animation sequences my idle sequence only needs uh, one frame although you can have multiple frames if you want your character to do like a, a kind of an idling um, animation this is only one frame that I've got so I'll just use that Click the little plus button next to the image in the sprite library to add it to the animation. So there is my frame, if I hit play, the animation plays, uh, it's only one frame so you won't notice anything changing. On the walking animation, here is where I'll add my other frames, and if I just keep hitting plus, they will get added to the, uh, <coughs> to the sequence down the bottom there. Six. If I play, you can see that animating. And now I'll do the same thing for jumping up and jumping down and dying. She just flashes a couple of times and then fades out. Duck and prone. 
Um. Alright, so now I just need to save. And once that's done, we will have an animation. Cool. Alright. That is done. Now I can close this. And we'll give it a second or two. Yep, there it is. That's my new game object. Um, it's an animated character. And I can close the assets and then find the character. And then here she is. I can place her into my game. Now she doesn't have a, a script on her. So if I hit play, um, she's just gonna stand there. We need to give her some instructions so that she moves around when we press keys on the keyboard. At the moment, the, uh, the guy next to her is the player character. We want to get rid of him and we want to add a script to the girl. And she'll be our new player. So, let's see what happens. Okay, so the guy moves around and she does not. So, we will remove him, uh, we just need to right click on him and go delete, oops. Now, um, she, like any other game object that we place into our game, won't have a script unless um, it has already been attached. Um, because she has that little icon there, that means she doesn't have a script. So we want to click on scripts in the left hand sidebar and we want to find player controls. Um, Game Fruit Classic. Uh, here we go. Classic player, uh, platform player. So if we click on that to select it and then click on the girl and we can see now the icon has changed. The script has been applied. Let's play the game. Now the script um, part of the instructions in the script is that it finds uh, the animation sequence names that you've created, but they have to be very specific. Um, so if you create your own animation and you change the sequence names, that script that I just showed you won't work properly. Um, in another video I'll show you how to make your own script for a character, so you can use any kind of animation names. And here we go, now we have made our own custom character. Pretty cool. Um, if you want to follow us on Facebook, check out uh, facebook.com slash gamefruit. Or uh, hit us up on Twitter, twitter.com slash gamefruit. Uh, or at, just at gamefruit I guess. Um, and you can email me at dave at gamefruit.com um, if you have any questions or any feedback. Thanks.